What is up, YouTube? I got a pretty sweet night for y'all today. Uh, before we get too far into this, I want to go ahead and say thank you to AZUSA for lending this knife over, as well as thank you to anybody who has already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to continue to make content. We'd love for you to see it. Hitting the little subscribe button and the bell will let you know when we have new videos posting so you can check it all out and see all the cool new stuff that we're looking at. As well as head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939. It's a great way to connect with us. Let us know what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And also, get knives sent over so we can do some reviews. We'll send it back to you with one of these sweet little stickers as a thank you for letting us look at your cool tools. So, as we get into this, this is going to be a Miguron prototype, but it's not going to be a Miguron knife. It's actually a knife that AZ USA is working on. So I'm really excited to look at this. Um, they've been talking about it. I've seen pictures of it um, as I've been into the shop and looked at it. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. And I want to show you guys this sweet knife. This is something that they are really excited to bring to the market. And I am beyond stoked to see this knife come out. So here it is right here. This is going to be the working name, and I believe it's going to be the actual name is going to be Blitzkrieg. So this is the AZ USA Bladeworks Blitzkrieg, and it is fire. This thing is legit. Uh, Miguron, we know, has some amazing quality that they do, especially for the budget and the value that they put in there. This is going to be just right up there as well with some of that fantastic quality that Miguron's putting out there. So it is a frame lock knife. You've got the titanium frame lock with the Miguron micro milling through here as well. A carbon inlay on the both sides up top as well. And then it's going to be on M390. So that's going to be some amazing super steel coming in there as well. So uh, let's go ahead and do some quick measurements of this thing as we get it out. This is a prototype, but I don't believe any of the measurements or anything are going to change on it. So we'll do some quick measurements and then we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons for y'all. Right here, we're looking at about seven and a half inches, three and a quarter on the blade length, about 3.15 on the cutting edge there. So it's a really perfect EDC knife. It's a really good, some amazing ergos on it, some really good uh, size and weight to this knife as well. You have a really generous choil up front here really good for choking up and then on this thumb ramp on the back you got just enough jimping and it gives you a really good ramp to get in here so you can actually choke up and feel super comfortable the ergos on this knife are fantastic there's some really nice chamfering around the edge as you can see here and then down on the back side as well and up over the top this titanium backspacer has some of that big jimp in it as well which is really good looking and it just honestly adds a nice weight to the base right there as well too so this thing is probably one of the knives that i'm most excited about to come out i believe they're going to be doing a kickstarter for this knife so it's not going to be something that hits their website so you will have to check that i know there's going to be a couple other reviewers that will be looking at this and posting it up there so just stay tuned check kickstarter see when it comes out because this is going to be one you don't want to miss we'll go ahead and do some side by side comparisons for y'all this is the Para 2 and the Para 3 Spider Co. for you real quick to give you some size-by-size -size comparison. Right there off the bat, you can see it is going to be a really good EDC size comparing up with that Para 3 pretty nice and easy. And then we'll go ahead and pull the Ontario Rat 1 and 2 out as well. There's the Rat 1 up top and the Rat 2 down below. So a little bit bigger than that Rat 2. And like we said, probably the best comparison is going to be that Spyderco Pair 3. Yeah, I absolutely love the action on this knife. You get really good reverse flick action with that hole there. Uh, I love the style and the blade shape that they put to it too. This swedge along the top coming down gives you a nice little spear point look to it. It does have a really nice grind coming through there as well, hollow grind coming down through there. And then you do have some good jimping on the flipper tab on the back over here, so you can flip it out nice and easy. You can do both a light switch and a button push on that, and it comes out really nice. Miguron doesn't jimp when they come to quality. They make some really good stuff, especially in their M8 line, which is a little bit higher end, but also in their budget stuff, it's amazing. So to see the quality of Miguron come out in some of their OEM work, this is absolutely fantastic. 
You have a nice milled titanium pocket clip. It is only gonna be one side, so it's not reversible there. But honestly, like the majority of the world is right-handed. It really stinks for lefties who wanna be able to carry this left-handed, but this is going to be a fantastic knife. That might be something they could look at is maybe putting two little holes right here and then putting a little filler tab. So if they wanted to make it reversible, they could. But I don't think many Migurons that I have with the milled clip, I've got one over here, Micarix. Yeah, Migron doesn't do reversible clips in their titanium frame locks as often. So that might just be something that Migron doesn't do. Um, but this is an absolutely fantastic knife. You've got the AZ USA logo right here on the collar on the pivot, which is pretty cool. And then I really like that it has a very simple minimalistic look when it's closed like this. You've only got the two screws up here, two pieces of hardware, and then the blade just looks really good closed in that closed position, but you open it up and this is a beast. I mean, this thing comes out and it looks aggressive and angry, but really sleek and clean at the same time. There's some really good really good lines to this knife and it has amazing action. You can see right there, it does have that Miguron drop shut action as it comes through. So it is pretty amazing. I do think they're gonna try and do a couple colors possibly. Um, to add some, they may do like a, a blacked out DLC version. They may do a bronze version on it. I'm not 100% sure, but I know Migron has that capability. So this is going to be something that they could definitely work with. Like I said, just check that Kickstarter when it comes out here in a little bit. There are two prototypes floating around. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on this one. It is the Blitzkrieg from AZ USA. Like I said... I will link AZ USA's website down below so you can go ahead and check out a lot of their stuff and the offerings that they have um, as well. But keep an eye out on Kickstarter because this is not one that you are going to want to miss. This is going to be something that will definitely spark interest in a lot of people and comes out with some really fire stuff. Pretty short video, but a really cool knife I'm excited to share with you all and bring to the market. So be checking out kickstarter anytime soon azusa should be hitting a campaign with this coming out for you until next time ttfn